everyone on you on YouTube. Welcome to the Kim Wright YouTube channel. I'm Kimber Wright, and today we've got an unboxing to do. Now, I'm currently still waiting. Just to give you a quick update, I'm still waiting for April's special edition box. There's been quite a lot of problems. Um, Geek Gear have been facing uh, with this box. Um, last communication I had with them, they'd said that the one of the items, which was the T-shirt, hadn't arrived yet, and they wanted to send the special edition complete, which is fair enough. You know, who wants an incomplete box? Talking of incomplete, you'll remember when I opened the April box, I noticed that there was no charm bracelet, uh, charm bracelet charm in it. Um, that failed to arrive on time. Now they made the decision to send the April box without that charm bracelet, although they put something else in, which I suspect was the coin. Um, which is, again, fair enough. That's their decision, their choice. So we now are going to open May's box. May's is a single box. The next special edition doesn't arrive until June. I believe that the special edition for April is out in the post somewhere so fingers crossed that would arrive at some point but for now we have May's special edition I wonder what's in here smash myself on the nose well, straight away we've got the t-shirt so in tradition let's bring you closer so first of all we got our little yellow bits we got quite a lot of yellow bits we've got our t-shirt which is a plain black t-shirt but among it is a lot of Luna Love Goods equipment just bring that closer so you can see so we've got a little lost list one ear one earring one pair of stripy socks one school cloak this woman um, had a an issue with losing things. We've got her spectacles, her little cork and pearl necklace, and we've got on the very top her bulb wand, which is pretty good. Let's have a little look at that. That's pretty good. It's a I'm, I'm confessingly it's a bit but it's styled so that it actually looks like it's made it's part of the t-shirt design so you've got a little pocket here that's pretty good I'm not saying I'm impressed because I was kind of hoping for something different but you know it's a good imagination good imagination let's have a look at some more stuff so ah so remember the clue was Harry Potter's special mirror which it's got on the actual picture itself it's got Harry Potter looking through the mirror oh, it's got Latin on the bottom on the top oh which is actually on our little what was the stand, mirror stand so we've got a little mirror stand with a tiny little mirror that actually works and on the top if I bring it in closer hopefully you'll see it's got the Latin words that are actually on top of the mirror reveals what you mostly desire oh actually no it doesn't that's clever I've just had another look and I don't know if you can spot it but it actually says if it focuses which probably won't 
YouTube Extra on the top. Could that be? I'm wondering if that's an act. Is that an accident? Let's have a look. No, it's an accident, but that's that is pretty cool that that's on the very top. YouTube Extra kind of fades as it goes around this top area here but it says Arist Stra Aru LT Yub Extra L on when Woozy which I think means shows you what you most desire which for Harry was his parents for Voldemort was the Philosopher's Stone and for Ron was him winning the Quidditch Cup so there we go another mirror so we've got the Mirror of Truth we've got Hermione's mirror so we've got two mirrors to play with now at some point I'll show you my little collection let's have a look at more stuff There's quite, there's quite a lot of interesting stuff in here. Right, we've got the poster, which we always do last. trying to see what's actually in here just to make sure I don't accidentally throw anything away. Have to abandon the wax seal. Okay, this is pretty good. Oh, for once I'm not trying to fight to get something out. Well, sort of. I think that's everything in here. Yeah, it is. All that's left is little yellow stringy stuff to play with. There's a bunch of little yellow stuff to play with. That'll make quite a nice little nest. And now we'll just put some rubbish in there. So let's have a look at other stuff that's in here. Now we've got Constant Vigilance Badge, which is this badge here, if you can see. Let's get rid of the glare. It's got it's one of those squeeze release caps. Actually, let's release it from the cardboard. There we go. Put it back on so it's nice and safe. That is it's got an eye right where the O is, which is pretty good. Now that is pretty cool. I keep thinking that you can take the end of the spike and be able to poke your poke through the hole because it looks 2D. 3D beg your pardon. That is pretty good. That is well cool. Now, we do have a charm. I don't have a second charm, so um, we'll see if there's a note on uh, whether we'll ever get um, April's charm. We might not. Um, this might actually be April's charm. But it is the charm. It's so big. It's not even one of the bulb ones. This is the this is the charm, and it's it's either the quibble, you know, the feather pen that the Harry Potter uses, or it's Buckbeat's feather. Uh, not sure which one. It doesn't say. It's got a slight nip on here. Was that meant to be there? I think that's meant to be there. Maybe that's meant to be the clue that this is Buckbeak's feather. I need to see a picture and double check. Now, one of the other clues 
I believe, was uh, Professor Umbridge. Uh, Umbridge, as we know, is the evil, horrible headmistress in... Not Order of... Was it Order of the Phoenix? Yes, Order of the Phoenix. And it's got... Comes in a little package that is styled like her room. And if you notice, at the back appears to be cut the collectible plates that you can get, which is quite ironic because it's not china, it's plastic. But you've got not for microwavable use. One of her plates, the little cat, ironically given a, uh, given a salute. I'm not quite sure I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that kind of salute. But for some reason, when a cat does it, it's cute. Not too sure about this plate. I think I would have preferred one of her other cats, to be honest. I don't know, does it, it looks like he's doing a salute, but he could be just reaching out for a feather. It could be just one of those photos that was taken at a considerate time. It's not broken, is it? No, it's not broken. Um, even though it's plastic, we're going to keep it in its box just to keep it safe. Like so. So we've got a cat bowl, cat plate. This actually looks painted. Oh, it is painted. It actually looks like a painting. That is pretty cool. Not photocopied from the film. This has actually been painted. Or styled like it's painted. Um, and talking of painting, before we look at the poster, let's have a look at this month's... Ooh at this month's picture. Ooh. This looks very comic booky, or at least comic strippy. It's Lord Voldemort with his little pet, Nagini, who we meet in Fantastic Beasts and learn about her future. I'm hoping in one of the Fantastic Beasts films we actually find out because I don't in the Fantastic Beasts films it doesn't give her the kind of indication that she's actually a bad guy. She's just someone who's badly misunderstood. She turns into a she turns into a snake when she sleeps. I'd be very lonely if that was my skill. But she's not a bad person. She looks after um yeah, Const she looks after Constance and she takes, you know, is a quite a mother figure, a role model to him. Um, and I can't remember, I need, I need to watch the film again, but I can't remember if she's on at the moment because we've done two films so far. Uh, in Crimes of Grindelwald, we meet Nagini. And I'm just trying to remember, I might have to put a comment down below if I do remember. But I'm trying to remember if she actually um, is involved. Um, I'm pretty sure it was just Constance that went through the portal. I think she stayed behind with Newt and his brother. If I remember in the film right. I will double check my facts. I always do and I always get back to you guys um, on my facts. It's been quite a while. Since I've read, since I've watched uh, Fantastic Beasts, and quite a while since I've watched <laughs> Crimes with Grindelwald, but this is certainly—it looks like it's come from one of the Harry Potter Potter books. Is it signed? Oh, it is signed. Can't read the signature. Now this looks like it's been water painted. I quite like it's green and black and then just on the top of this corner is a dash of red roughly where the one's pointing this looks like 
one of Harry's visions when she's when he's looking at Voldemort and trying to identify things. Although saying that, I think in the vision he's actually um, using the eyes of Voldemort. It's interesting that they've also got Nagini's eyes the same colour as Voldemort. That looks well good. It's got lo it's got lovely detail. My favourite's still the um, serious black one, if I'm truly honest. But it's not it's not bad. You've still got the texture on his ro sorry the texture on his robes. One of these days, I'm going to do a video where I say which of these is my favourite. This is this one is quite high, but it's not as high as the others. Um, I'll stick you in there for now. Uh, what else have we got? So we've got a extraction from most potent potions, the book, and it is the page from Polyjuice Potion. Which is pretty which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. I'm gonna read I'm gonna have a little read of this later on. I'll have I'll read I'll read uh the first two chapters for you. And then if I hold that up you guys can have a little bit of a read. Let's bring it down. Come down again. But it's styled very much like one of the books from the library that Harry would have borrowed, or one of the books that he would have bought. Properly brewed, the Polyjuice Potions allows the drinker to transform himself temporarily into a physical form of another. Fill a fortified leaded cauldron with the following ingredients, which we saw Hermione fill. Twelve lace wing flies, Ooh. one ounce of crude anti antimony, uh, four leeches on on saturated, sixteen scruples of flux weed, three drachms of pulverized sal amanek well that, this is certainly not going down my throat uh, not grass blades pulverized uh, one pinch of powdered horn or bicorn lunar extracting lunar extracting so they might so a bihorn I'm guessing is a two-horned unicorn uh, by meaning bicycle, which is two wheels. So yeah, that's a um, two-horned, two-horned creature. Um, a bicorn is a two-horned creature. Has to be extracted at night. So that's what Luna means. Uh, fillings and raspings of sal, sal, salpeter, uh, mercury, and Mars. Shredded skin of broom slang, desecrated, and then the final ingredient the extract of the transformed being to be. Incidentally, the picture has people turning um, partly into the creature. So they've got the young woman with the hair of a spider, and down here they've got um, him turning into a snake, and again this guy turning into a bug or a beetle and then you've got this person here who clearly got the potion seriously wrong unless that's what she wanted to turn into but um it's not even completely finished i think this is only page one wow oh I'll read you the last chapter, actually. 
Harvest the flux weed at the full moon and soak in urine. Add the, the lace winged flies by Drachum and the knot grass. Stir in the broom slang. Add saltpeter to the cauldron to taste. Potion will have a mercury texture. Add leeches and stew for 21 days. Add all the remaining ingredients except the extract, which as we see in the film, is only added to the potion once it's in the cup. To be perfectly honest, I'm not too sure reading this, I'd wanna. I can understand now, because in the film, Hermione mentions making this potion um, is breaking many school rules which many of them is probably how she gets the ingredients. Well, well probably having to sneak into Snape's, uh, Snape's, in, Snape's storehouse, which we know from another film, Goblet of Fire, Snape doesn't particularly like. Although why he didn't get Hermione into trouble, I don't know. Oh, by the way, in case you're wondering um, why I'm moving very little, and you might see me wince a little bit. I have actually injured my back. It's not too bad that I'm crippled. Um, but it just means that if I turn it the wrong way, my back is very, very sore. Um, this is where I needed a coin, which I don't have still. Let's see if I can do that with... just about with the pen and it's a no win again just see it slightly through the hole there no win never mind better luck next time never mind I'm, they take these out at random I hope so um, I'm not too disappointed now they've changed this so you it's usually folded three ways and then stuck together with fake wax but um, I'm wondering if due to time they've given up on that and just decided to just fold it in half they've still got the style that it's like a Harry Potter letter though so let's have a look and see what we have. Double check, make sure everything's here. So, May 2020's box contains exclusive Lunar Pocket Lost and Found t shirt, which is our t shirt here. Exclusive Umbridge Cat Plate Replica. I probably would have preferred a different cat, but. It's still a pretty pretty cool and unique uh, unique idea. Exclusive mirror of Eris of Eris replica, which is our little mirror right here. Lord Voldemort community artist artwork. This artwork was done by. Milton Castro. Oh, I've had artwork from him. That does surprise me a little bit. Um, he's got an. Um, Milton has an Instagram at Milton Raphael Castro. I'll give you the spelling. None of these are in capital, by the way. M I L T O N R A F A E L C A S T R O. That's his Instagram. That will be in the description down below. If you enjoyed the Voldemort picture or enjoy or remember arts from him previously, show some love. Go on his Instagram, see what else he can do. The problem with folding these in half is that it's so easy to damage. You can already feel it breaking right here. Exclusive Polyjuice Potion recipe, uh, recipe Page Replica, which is our replica page here. Exclusive 
Mad Eye Moody Pin. Ah, so that's Mad Eye Moody's eye right in the middle there. I thought I recognised that, but I couldn't think where I'd seen it. Exclusive monthly collectible charms. The feather, it's a feather, just a random feather charms, probably Buckbeaks. Um, I think this is most likely Maze. I think they've given up on April or they're still waiting for it. Um, I'm not really complaining. I think it's it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool and brilliant that they tried to keep in time with what was going on. But they've got a pretty hard job to do. They're short and staffed. Um, try and keep the regulations up. Shout out to our YouTuber, which will also appear in the description box, the KD Adventurers. That's these two here. Congratulations, guys. You will get a shout out. And next month's hint. Next month's hint, Harry Potter on his wand. I th think... Because that's him... I think because that's him wearing the Quidditch um, jacket, the Quidditch jumper, I think that's from Prisoner of Azkaban when he got attacked by the Dementors. There's no sign of the Dementors though, but I think that's from Prisoner of Azkaban. So the clue could be anything Prisoner of Azkaban related. Or um, Harry Potter Quidditch. Now we've already got some Quidditch stuff, so it'd be interesting to see what else they're going to send through Geek Gear. So, um, which one is my favourite? Certainly, it's sort of a cross between the Polyjuice Potion page and the Mirror of Erased replica. See myself. <laughs> that is pretty cool. That is pretty. That is pretty cool. Well, hopefully, at some point, we will, fingers crossed, um, get the April, get the April special edition. And when that arrives, we'll do a special unboxing on, on that. The last communication, as I said, I had with them, that is on its way. We just don't know where it is. Um, I'll give them another week and I'll give them another bell if need be. I've been told that the broken um, picture frame that I'd received in, not April's, but the last um, special edition of that is in this special edition box. I've been told that by the person who apparently packed it. So got that certainty that's definitely in there. Where it is right now, I don't know, but... I'm not going to apply um, too much pressure on Geek Gear because it's a it's a horrible situation for everyone to be in. Um, I know I know from my own I work in online retail. I know how hard it is. I know people who are still waiting for their packages for the company I work for. So it's going to be hard on everyone, but we'll all get through it and we all keep our hopes up and hopefully we all survive. So. I'm going to cast a little magic of hope and light onto you guys and hopefully you all are nice and safe and well. Hope you enjoyed the unboxing. Um, I certainly enjoyed a lot, of the, a lot of the products there. Some disappointing products but a lot of them were pretty good. Um, so all I'm going to say is I'll see you guys next time and be safe. Stay alert, and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.